Hey everybody, I have bought some new Spun Bond non-woven polypropylene and I thought I would share with you how to calculate the grams per square meter. So this is Hope and let's get started. So I bought some Dritz um, non-woven polypropylene and it is the same fabric. Of course, I'm wearing black, black on black, you can't see it. It is the same fabric as the Pelon 915, which is cambric. And cambric is uh, the, the dust cover material that you find um, in your living room and in your, in your house. So if you're sitting on the couch or in a chair right now, lean down and underneath you will find a black non-woven polypropylene and that is this material. So um, it's a perfectly good material to use um, for mass and for mass filters. But let's say I don't know the gram weight and I want to figure out what the gram weight is so I can decide how many layers I want to make. So the first thing you want to do is let's find out the grams first. Let's find out how much it weighs. So what I have done is I bought a simple scale. You might already have one. I bought a simple scale, a uh, simple kitchen scale. And all I need to do is turn on my little kitchen scale and see if, uh, it's on ounces or grams and look at that. It's already on grams and I'm going to weigh my material. Well, that's funny. It's now 105 uh, grams when about 10 minutes ago it was 107 grams. So unlike me, it has lost a little weight. Super. Doesn't that make me feel special? <sighs> Nothing like COVID pounds to make you happy. All right, so now I have the grams. Do you remember about 105, 6, 7? We'll, we'll split the difference and we'll say it 206. All right, so now I want to figure out the size of my material. Luckily, it comes on the package. However, we're going to need to do a little bit of calculations. Now simmer down, simmer down. We're going to do it on the computer. Don't get all, you know, worried. We got you covered. I got you covered. So let's turn this around again. So what we have, what I've done is, is I've written down um, the dimensions on this, paper, on this piece of paper. And we're going to figure out the, um, the measurements. But, but here's the problem. As you remember in school, you cannot compare inches uh, to yards can't compare two different two different measurements. So um, if you know that you need to 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 how to calculate that, multiply it by by thirty six inches. That's super. If you don't, turn to your favorite search engine and ask them, and it will tell you how many inches are in a yard. How many inches are in five yards? And it'll say, "You silly goose! You already knew it was one hundred and eighty." So we're going to put 180 inches, right? So there we have it, 36 to 180 inches. Now for, now what about um, the other uh, measurements that it shares, right? In the parentheses. So we can figure that out pretty easy enough. It says it's 91.1 centimeters times 457 meters. Again, cannot, cannot compare. We've got to do uh, centimeters to centimeters, right? If you're not sure, just turn to your good uh, friend, your good calculator, and ask it uh, to convert that for you. Now, um, so we're going to... Uh, right now it's going to be 457 um, centimeters. Here's the thing though, I forgot about this. Um, we're going to turn to a calculator, right? Any calculator will do. This is kind of the one that I, I use. And, and this calculator is for, uh, this is a GSM calculator. And as you can tell, you just, you know, plug it on in and it works for you. It gives you three units of measurements 
um, meters, millimeters, and inches. And of course, centimeters is not one of them. You're going to multiply um, the centimeters by 10. If you didn't know that, go back to your search engine and just ask it. How do I convert centimeters to meters? And um, that's what we're going to use. So um, we can't use the centimeters. We need to convert it to millimeters. And I know I'm using all this, this, these millimeters words. Y'all are okay. Just keep going. We're doing it all. The calculator's doing it for you. You're all right. You're all right. Now guess what you're ready to do? Plug it in, right? What were the grams? We're going to say 207 grams. Right? Now we're ready. Let's go back to the calculator and let's start putting in some, putting in some numbers. Here you can tell I've already done it, 36 inches by 180 inches, and the weight was 207, that gave me 47 grams. So that I know that my non-woven polypropylene is 47 grams, 47.5, if we round it up, it's going to be about 50 grams. So let's, um, let's clear out these numbers right on, and let's change this to millimeters or meters or whatever you had decided to to uh, convert to and let's change these I'm sorry not change these let's let's punch these in so we're going to put 911 oh, not space tab 911 by 4570 right millimeters let's put in the weight what was it 207 and it gives us 49 grams so it's it's really easy really really easy so to recap all we're going to do is we have bought our NWPP we're going to see how much it weighs and sometimes on Amazon it will tell you um, because of shipping it'll tell you your package is going to weigh two ounces or your package is going to weigh 2.5 ounces you can calculate a rough guesstimate of what the gram weight is based off of that by using the online GSM calculator and make sure of course you you have to go if it's you know um, inches you have to multiply inches to inches not inches to yards so you have to do a little bit of conversion but if you're not too sure about that that's why we got computers um it's if you have some some non-woven polypropylene that someone gave you and you don't have all the measurements then what you're going to do is get, grab, go, go grab your yardstick measure it out weigh it and and punch it into your um online calculator and you're you're good to go i mean it's super super easy you're just letting the calculator do it for you and you can figure out your GSM. And then that way it'll tell you maybe how many layers you want. You can also start and start to have deeper discussions with other people about the gram weight and what you find to like work better, whether, you know, three layers of this GSM work better for you than two layers of this GSM. I don't know. You're really starting to become, uh, um, more knowledgeable and the uh, civilian scientists and the fabric scientists that we know we are. All right, everybody. Have a good evening. Talk to you later. Bye.